Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mal, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can use the BIP function that we have in the HMI. So let's go to the software. Okay, so I believe I need to remove the other mic that I have in the PC. Now, um, the idea is to use one of the blocks that we have on the scripts in order to execute the BIP. So, for example, imagine that you have an alarm and you don't have a, a booster or something external, like a siren or something to just, you can use the HMI beep in order to indicate that something is done right. So, let's add, let's add a variable, okay, boolean, saying, for example, x alarm. Okay, it's gonna be internal but it can be external that you can see it in the other videos um so in this case what i'm going to do is to create a script and here in the script what we're going to do is to add the bit functionality so if we just scroll down to the to, 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 to the target options we have the bip and we have bip on off and one shot so the beep on will allow you to trigger the the this beep sound so it's going to be beep 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 it's going to trigger it and then you need to turn it off you just need to execute the off okay so if you only just one just one beep and one particular time you just need to execute this one shot okay so in this case to be annoy what i'm going to do is to execute the on so this is one way to do it what we're going to do is to use the uh, value change when value change do okay value change the variable is going to be the alarm and always use this the value so if Now we need to make a comparison. I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then the comparison here, the condition. So if this value boolean is true, then beep on. Otherwise, just put it off. Okay. So now, if we go to our screen, you can make your fancy HMIs and everything. You can probably have, uh, when you have any of the alarms on, you can trigger this. Or in my case, what I'm going to do is to use a toggle. Okay. And I'm going to link this to the alarm variable. So as soon as I put this in true, it will turn on the alarms. It will sound the beep. If I simulate, and hopefully we should be able to hear the beep. Otherwise, I put it in the wrong channel. But let's see. Mm, no, it doesn't hear the sound. Because I turn it off. You need to tell me when I do the things wrong. Because here, otherwise it's going to turn off every time. So that's why I need the if do else 
if this is true, then do this, otherwise do the other thing. I mean, you can hear that annoying thing. It's going to be the beep, 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 beep. And as soon as I put it off, it just vanish. So this can be one way in order to use the beep. Okay. Um, another way to do this is, for example, uh, to let's try the one shot. So we can do like this. We can have a variable, a word variable, set um, alarm. So imagine that you have a level or something, just execute just one time. So all script. So I can copy this, Control C, Control V. dot value if dot value is int gonna be one shot so when this value change it's equal this will equal so it will trigger only one time and then what I need to do is to make this periodic and I'm going to add one to the value every time so value change Add to Control C, Control B, one and then on the screen I can put this the value so I can reset it. And then if everything goes well when the value reaches the 10, it will sound just one time in the beep. There we go. I don't know if you're able to hear it, but I hear it on my side. So, um, so this is how we can use the beep functionality. Remember that we have this block in order to use the beep sound. So um, thank you very much for watching this video related to the BIP functionalities on, off and one shot on Operator Terminal Express. Thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.